Hi, Scorpios. Welcome to my channel, Ortiz Apple Tree. Ooh. <laughs> we already have cards out, and I have been premeditating on your energies prior to going on camera. So these cards are charged and ready. We have the Six of Pentacles giving and receiving, and we have the Six of Wands, like successful in that giving and receiving. So it's like something going from strength to strength. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and Mars, North, South, East, and West. Spirit shows what we need to see for Scorpios. Oh my gosh, we have an Ace of Cups. There's love in the air. Some of you are going to have a new chapter that's going to be full of emotional fulfillment. I really like what I'm seeing here so far. It's going to be giving and receiving. This is something you can tell people about. Mm -hmm. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and Mars. Accurate general messages for Scorpios. Water sign Scorpios. Ace of Cups. Six of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so we have here happily single is in reverse. Reckless love and sex that goes along with being single and mingling is, is going to be a thing of the past for some of you. A relationship is here, okay? 2024. All right, let's get into it. Just receive it resonates and leave it does not. So Scorpio, Six of Pentacles, ooh, it's meaning that you have a good relationship with your income, <laughs> and it also means that um, you're you're ready to share. It could mean that you're ready to um, share what you have in life, your time, your energy, your thoughts, your uh, passion, your emotion, and it's about giving and receiving. You know, it's an energy where you may find yourself in a situation where you're ready to give your time. You know, it could be an energy where you're going to be kind and generous towards each other, whoever this person is. Definitely could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You know, we do have Pinnacle Energy, so that's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have Wands, so Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. But I just feel like some of you, it's like a strength to strength is what it's going to be like. And if you're single, you're going to meet someone, again, who's going to be generous and kind to you and it's an energy where you're going to be generous and kind as well with your time and your energy and so some of you are definitely meeting someone new because the ace of cups is new beginnings where you're ready to be open and giving and the universe sees that and they're going to reward you for it as well and we have the six of wands here some of you, this person may have kids, so they have like this balance. It's all about, you know, there's a scale here. It's about balancing. They're going to be spending time with you as well as their kids. It's about becoming a blended family as well for some of you. They may have two children that they have to share time with as well, but I feel like they won't skip a beat because this is someone who's going to be ready for this new beginning with you and it's going to be successful. Um, you and your partner, you and this person are going to be able to like achieve something together that could be long term, emotional, and fulfilling. And I feel like this could be like a dream partner about to enter your life and this is someone who is confident successful and I feel like this could be someone as well that is um I don't know they could be like a famous <laughs> celebrity or someone who has a lot of fans a lot of followers they do something big maybe they have a public platform where people like really follow them and support them they could be in the spotlight riding high so I feel like this is an energy as well that's gonna just add to to the excitement of the courtship to this new beautiful beginning here with this ace of cups energy look at this cancer uh, i almost said cancer so it could be a cancer could be a, a pisces or another scorpio definitely but scorpio's new beginnings new relationships new romance love happiness joy for some of you this could lead to birth pregnancy um you know this is about uh celebrations as well and i feel like this person is going to be very receptive very kind and friendly to you and so this is good news coming and i feel like um you know this new relationship is going to bring a lot of romance and it's a really great time for you to meet new people and i feel like uh you're gonna meet someone and it's going to be the beginning of something very new and exciting. And uh, it's, for some of you, um, it's an opportunity for renewal. 
For some of you, it's about letting go of the past and opening your heart to bring in that emotional fulfillment and joy and harmony and contentment. So for some of you, this could lead to baby showers, engagement, even a wedding, okay? And together, you know, the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, um, it's where it's finding a fulfillment and it's very rewarding. It's going to be a very rewarding partnership and you and this person are going to be able to achieve great success together as well I feel like you're gonna become a couple like the single days are like they're soon gonna be a thing of the past and I feel like this is an energy where um, some you're gonna be very giving charitable you know this is an energy where it's a phase of your life that you're gonna be able to focus on for achievement goals and a relationship that aligns with your values and your generosity and res uh, reciprocity and I just feel like um, you could receive a promotion for some of you, a raise or a new opportunity. It's going to allow you to really showcase your skills and talents for some of you. Um, this could be an energy where you're very supportive workplace, your friends, your family might be supportive of you meeting this person. I just feel like you're going to be very mindful of how you use your wealth and your influence. And you're going to realize you have the power to make a positive difference in the lives of others in your life and this other person's life. And you're going to be taking that kind of responsibility very serious. And this is just energies that's, you know, saying, keep in mind, be fair, respectful, generous in your dealings with this person. Um, this Ace of Cups and the um, Six of Pentacles together. It is a really cool energy because it's like sharing your your time with this person, sharing your resources with this person, and having the balance of giving and receiving. So it's not going to be a one-sided relationship where this person's a taker. I feel like they're going to take as well as give and it's going to go, it's going to flow, okay? And I just feel like it's a time of emotional fulfillment that's going to be through giving and receiving. And um, they're going to be ready to give. I feel like you and this person are going to give more of yourselves to each other and just really um, indulge in that experience of emotional fulfillment. So being open to receiving and giving and it's a um, very cool emotional connection that you're going to have here. I feel like it's going to be a time of generosity and balance, emotional fulfillment, focus on giving more to this person and, and likewise and I feel like they're going to be very receptive to you and you're meeting your needs. And so you're going to attract someone who is very um, generous and someone who is very caring. And that combination um, just makes for a wonderful recipe of um, unexpected support and love and fulfillment and long-term commitment. So it's an energy giving a time energy. And it's an energy of just being able to be yourself and experience this greater fulfillment. It's going to feel like almost even a spiritual fulfillment. I mean, when you know, you just know. So it's going to be like an emotional fulfillment through giving and receiving, okay? And it's going to be a beautiful energy where you can actually... Um, just it's like just it's an energy that's gonna lead to commitment and I do feel like it's an emotional victory with that six of wands there and the ace of cups it's an emotional victory where it's gonna be a time to celebrate you know what I mean like this is like victory you see the wreath that wreath represents victory victorious in your love life so you're gonna be conquering your inner demons and starting to experience a heartfelt emotions like love happiness joy and you're gonna be able to let your guard down and celebrate your emotional success with this person that's coming in your life and i just feel like it's a really um also celebrating the good work you've done as well being very successful in regards to um getting a promotion uh, it's gonna be like a it's gonna come all at once it's gonna feel like it is it's a new it's a promotion a new relationship uh, even a personal milestone that you have successfully achieved and i feel like you're gonna be rejoicing in this recognition that it's gonna bring and it's, it's like a stepping stone for uh, future success and loving yourself and this person and I feel like you're gonna feel like that flow like look at that this like uh, overwhelming flow of love and emotion in your life and a time to let go of the past and bask in the present and work towards fulfillment in the future and it's about self-love self-acceptance 
receiving and giving and enjoying love and affection that you receive from this person and more importantly appreciating the love that you have within yourself so it's, it's all about gratitude as well i feel like you're gonna be very grateful of this person you're not gonna take this person for granted at all and you're gonna be counting your blessings and it's like very grateful for having met them and a heartfelt like warm sense of like ease you know so i feel like the six of wands and six of cups is triumph emotional victory self-love love you know it's recognizing your achievements being gratitude and embracing love and generosity that's going to flow into your life scorpio and you're going to radiate you're just going to radiate and you know um with these energies over here from the true emotions happily single <laughs> like you've been happily single for quite some time right doing you dating you know career focus like we just talked about being successful going for that promotion and i feel like with this reckless love and sex being in reverse and it's happily single you know being in reverse it's an energy where it's like um you're gonna be adjusting to this new relationship after being basically single forever <laughs> and it's it's an energy where um you're going to find yourself happy in a healthy relationship where before you may have been single for many years and maybe some of you never really had a serious relationship or partner. And so um, some people assume that it's it's hard for them to attract um, that type of energy, but it's going to flow into your life. And I feel like um, some people assume it's hard to um, it's hard. It's hard for the unattached to stop having sex with other people. But, you know, relationships do force you to give up a lot of things, but it is very fulfilling in other things as well. So it becomes like a balance. I, you have to give up the sexual freedom. And, you know, that's kind of like overrated. You know, I feel like um, you're not going to miss, uh, you know, it's an, it's an energy where you're going to be curious to know if you have an ability to be domesticated into a steady relationship and you will be because there's the six of wands it's going to be successful i mean some of you have been so single and a bachelor bachelorette that you've always done what you wanted to do with your sex life and i feel like if you've been single for many years the whole thing of approaching people dming them swiping left swiping right you know uh, going on first dates it gets boring after a while you know, so satisfied or not with your single sex life, let's be honest, the dry spells are real, you know, and most of us see season singles, um, when you do find this type of love right here that keeps you wet, that keeps you going, like, ooh, that keeps you up and stuck, okay, I feel like um, you're not going to miss that casual sex, those casual flings, you're not going to miss the risk that it brings too. I feel like, um, yeah, you probably got caught up in going on your own rhythms and your own priorities as an individual and not being coupled up, you know, you only have yourself to answer for, or, you know, to prioritize. But I feel like um, with this type of relationship, that's going to be a success of giving and receiving. It's not going to be hard to do. You know, it's hard to get into a one sided relationship where you're giving all and you're being taken advantage of and granted and all that. But I feel like, um, you know, if you've been single for a long time, you got to get used to someone's presence. And at first it might feel like an obligation in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? To go days without texting or talking to someone, you might feel like, oh, this person's being cold or uninterested. But I feel like it takes time to, you know, get adjusted to being single. And um, it's the little things like deciding when or what to eat or <laughs> to turn your phone off for the day. And at the beginning, all you do is just try to uh, involuntarily, you know, you don't want to forget or, you know, miss those little things. But I do feel like, um, many long-term single people struggle to show their new partner that they're emotional and available and committed. But I feel like with the six of pentacles, you're going to be reminded to keep a balance of being emotionally available and committed. And I feel like you don't want someone to, um, assume if you're not giving them time or spending time. I feel like there's going to be an energy where, um, you know, you might feel like you spend a whole week with somebody and that's enough and then you don't have to talk for a while. But I feel like as you become more adjusted to being in a relationship, you won't want to go a day without the new love of your life, right? So I feel like um, it could take a while for you to switch from being um, egocentric single to a tentative boyfriend or girlfriend. And I feel like um, 
you'll realize that you're better prepared for a relationship than you thought, you know? And for the serially independent, there can also be a fear that no one will be able to love you for who you are. But you always think, you may always think like your next relationship will only happen with someone who's perfect. But, you know, um, not only in terms of personality, but also their ability to adapt to you, you know, and no one's perfect. So um, you might feel like, uh, you know, <laughs> I just feel like it's an energy where we tend to magnify the negative aspects of relationships when we shouldn't. Um, and I feel like it's realizing how easy it is to appreciate just being with someone again. And I feel like it's an energy that's going to take you on a deeper level where you're going to realize just how much you used to overthink your own priorities. So there's nothing wrong with being single, but I feel like, um, as the saying goes, you're often better off alone than in bad company, but it can be worth occasionally trading some peaceful afternoons spent reading alone for time with a meaningful partner. So trust me on that one. It's going to be a meaningful partner that you're going to be wanting to um, recognize and love and share that giving and receiving and making time to be with this person that's going to bring a great uh, emotional fulfillment so this is a beautiful energy it's a beautiful energy and it's definitely a new relationship on the horizon for you so start making time to prepare and um i feel like this is a, a beautiful energy that actually could lead to a long-term relationship that could lead to you becoming a parent for the first time or having another baby or you know getting engaged and and, and this is going to be like a friend it's going to be like a friend lover um fiance husband wife kind of thing it's going to be like the small steps leading to long lasting energy so good for you scorpios <laughs> good for you that you know you're gonna go from happily single to happily um married <laughs> okay so with that being said this is very general so receive it resonates leave it does not like if any of these messages resonated with you feel free to subscribe here to ortiz apple trees we follow these energies more so into spring and summer hit the bell to be notified of new readings you don't want to miss. So until next time, Scorpios, this is Ortiz Apple Tree. Take care.